Alright. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Wow, that, that, that picture frame's too small for this game. Alright. Welcome to a very scary game. What's scarier than this game is that I have a new haircut. And you'll have to see my face with little hair. Alright. <clears throat> Understand violations. Yes. Alright. This isn't the full game. I couldn't buy the full game. So, this is Rose's story. So, it's probably going to be short. There we go. Yes. Mother. Uh, well, apparently I'm in the way. There we go. Alright, Mother. Rosa, wake up. You don't want to be late for your first day of school. I made you breakfast. Your favorite buttermilk pancakes. Rosa. Buttermilk pancakes? I'll be right down. <laughs> I, can't, I can't sound like a girl. I'm sorry. Rosa gets out of bed and goes to the bathroom to wash her face, then joins her mother downstairs for breakfast. Mother, did you sleep well, honey? Rosa. Eh, well, kind of. The lady next door gives me the creeps. She keeps looking out her window into my room, so that kind of freaked me out, so I had a hard time sleeping. We are going to have to fix my window blinds soon. Mother. I will get somebody to fix your blinds this weekend. Oh, and that lady who keeps looking out her window is Miss Robinson. I met her yesterday. She cannot speak, so she was communicating with me in sign language. She seems like a very nice lady. Alright. Maybe she's nice. <clears throat> maybe she maybe she's nice but it's still a little weird that she keeps looking into my room I miss Chicago I miss dad when can I go back to see him you can visit him in a few ways the divorce papers will be done by then and we have to meet with our lawyers one last time I miss Chicago too but this town is not so bad we are only an hour away it is better than that. When I am heading out to school now, I was there tonight. Okay. Have a good day, dear. Have a good day. Rosa's mother cleans up the kitchen and heads out to work. North Mount High is just a 10 minute walk from Rosa's house. As Rosa approaches the front of her school, as a student comes up to her, You look like you're lost. Are you new here? Or is it? Is it that obvious? I'm lost. <clears throat> I'm looking for the main office. Can you tell me where to go? David. Sure. Let me walk you there. My name is David, by the way. My name. Yeah. <clears throat> my name is Rosa. This is my first day at this school. <clears throat> So where are you from? I'm from Chicago. I just moved here. Was my mother last week? Well, you like it here. It's a quiet town, safe, and everybody here is friendly. I cannot talk. I can see that. I hope everybody here is as friendly as you. Well, Rosa, here is the main office. I guess I'll see you around. Sure, see you around, and thanks again, Mister. Rosa and David had the same homeroom and the same art class together, so as weeks go by, they get to know each other better. David is interested in being more than friends with Rosa and asks her out on a date. David, do you have any plans tonight? It's Friday, and I was thinking we can go out. Select my answer. Okay. Sure, I would like that. Call me later. Sorry, I am not interested in dating. Alright, that's, that's kind of me. Nah. That's fine. Rosa walks home excited. She always had a crush on David. Ever since she first laid eyes on him, she's now finally going on a date with him. She stops by the shopping mall to buy something nice to wear for tonight. I wish I could be me and Foxy. As she is walking home, she has the feeling that somebody is following her. And when she stops and turns around, there's no one in sight. 
Oh, it was a ghost. I must be hearing things. She turns round and heads home quickly. When Rosa gets home, she goes to her room and tries on the, dra the dress she just bought. With a quick glance, she notices Mrs. Robinson peeking out of her window again and gives Rosa a smile. Ugh, this woman is so creepy. I'm going to mom's room to try this on. After trying on her dress, she calls her mother to let her know that she will be going out tonight, but her mother doesn't answer the phone. Well, she might be home before I leave. I'll just leave a note for her on the dining table just in case. As Rosa heads downstairs to leave the note on the dining table, she notices the front door slightly open. I didn't realize I had left the door open. Ah. Okay. So she closes the front door and leaves the note on the dining table table and then goes upstairs to get ready. Oh, she's taking a shower. As Rosa is taking a shower, she hears her mother's bedroom door close, followed by footsteps going downstairs. I didn't realize mom was home. Rosa gets out of the shower and goes to her bedroom to get dressed. Her phone rings. It's David telling her he will be there in a few minutes. She goes downstairs and notices her mother wrote okay on the note that Rosa left for her. Good, mom knows I will be out tonight. <phone rings> Ding dong! The doorbell rings and Rosa opens the front door. David, wow, you look amazing. I heard the doorbell. Why are you, why are you just standing there hitting the doorbell? After I just opened the door. Thank you. You look great, too. David, are you ready to go? Sure, let's get out of here. David opens the passenger door for Rosa and she gets into his car. He then gets seated in the driver's seat and starts the engine. There's a new movie out and the theater's not too far from here. Would you like to go check it out? Sure, let's go. I thought we were going out to eat, but okay. It was good. Rosa and David arrive at the theater. Rosa, why don't you grab us some soda and popcorn? I will find us some seats. As Rosa gets seated, she gives her mother a call, but there's no answer. David returns from the concession stand and sits next to Rosa. David, is everything okay? Everything is fine. I'm just trying to reach my mother. She came in and out of the house earlier, and I just want to know where she went. Oh, look, the movie is about to start. Ah! After 90 minutes, the movie finishes. Brother, that was a great movie. David, yes, I am glad you came out and watched it with me. It's getting late now, so let me take you home. Was it... Avengers Infinity War? That was a good movie. Very emotional. As Rosa gets home, she notices her mother's car is in the driveway and, the, and enters through the front door. <laughs> Her mom is dead. Alright. <laughs> um, that's the end of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, prayers to Rosa's mother, apparently. Oh, jeez. I will see you guys in the next video.